Now this, this wasn't something I was used to. Being out for one week, watching my team on the sideline the very next week going against Ball State. They was coming in at one and one, we was two and oh. And let's just say Ball State of all teams losing to them early in the second quarter, 10 to nothing. We knew coming into this game, we had to scratch and fight for every yard. And they did just that. But unfortunately, Ball State was just too much for us. And for me, they lit a fire on me as we ended up losing that game with 20 to seven to Ball State of all teams. Like really? I was glad to be back on the field. But going against the defending national champs, the 2-0 number one team in the country, Georgia, playing at Georgia, many folks to give us a shot. But I knew that if we played how the game how we supposed to play, we would possibly could win. That's going against one of the best players in the entire country. Now, I was a little rusty on this play, giving up a touchdown early in the first quarter. Now, at this point, it was a 7-7 ball game. Hell, a lot of folks didn't <laughs> really give us a chance to get seven points. But like I say, going against the water, probably one of the best players in the country, Brock Bowles. But going along with that running game and that defense, like I say, many people didn't give us a shot as Brock Bowles continued to torch his defense. That's a catch, that's a catch, that's a catch. Like I say, you got one of the best players on defense as well, myself. Even though I'm a true freshman, I didn't play like it. Right here, defense giving up another big game. This receiver picks up 18. They went on and capitalized to finish off this game. And once again, one of the best players in the nation is catching and torturing this defense. I know if we had any shot of beating this team, our defense had to play lights out. And it all started with that sack on the very next play. The cornerback got an interception, so hopefully they sparked the offense to put up some kind of point. But unfortunately, that just, just happened. Going against probably one of the best defenses in the country, we knew, like I say, this defense had to pay lights out. But with 43 seconds left, third and 17, as we continue to put pressure on defense, then you know who gets the interception. Now hopefully this motivates the offense. This defense, we can only do so much. Time and time again, we put the offense in perfect position, get an opportunity to make plays, and it's just not happening. They feel like this is a total nightmare as the DB drops an easy interception. And right here, Joe Roberts completes for eight yards, and we end up tying this ball game up. So right now, we got ourselves a ball game, depending this extra point, I might add. And the kick is up, and the kick is good. We are tied with the number one team in the nation. Can you fucking believe it? And the coaching staff, they made a hell of adjustments going into the second half. Let's just say we fed into it. And right here, I slipped in my coverage once again, giving up a huge play. I might add, this is my first week back, and I'm feeling a little bit rested, but that's still no excuse. But me personally, I feel like we got George on the heel. So they going forward on fourth and four rather than kicking a field goal. Yeah, we definitely got the number. And right here, the cornerback intercepts and take it in for a big six let's take a look at that replay he read that beautifully jumped the underneath screen pass and dove in for the touchdown can you fucking believe it bro we got the lead a comfortable lead on the number one team in the nation and right here once again they didn't let me do the intercession animation and we give our third big play of the game but the very next play on first and goal I had to redeem myself and give him three big plays that we intercepted the, the pads. We trying to turn up field, but we ain't up getting tackled for Bach Bowser. And can you believe it? With one minute remaining, we pull off the biggest upset in college football history. And what's even making it even sweeter? I'm a part of that, which is crazy. Now, this game, we taking on 5 and 0 2 lane. Just because they're not ranked. We are taking them very seriously. Right here, we make a big hit on the quarterback, but now that he pick up six yards. Now, we did beat the number one team in the nation the previous week, Georgia. Now, right now, everybody expect us to play very well, and moving forward, we damn near should. And just by the couple of running plays that they've been doing so far, we knew they wanted to run the ball, so that was feeding into our game. It's third and 13. Right here, the pass is underneath. Of course, we come up and make the tackle and prevent the first down 
as we gonna try to get a little bit of get the offense going right here we only got 30 total yards so let's see if we can spark the offense let alone just spark the entire team let's see if we can take this to the crib we got some good running room and we end up running to our blocker but that sets up our offense beautifully as we pick up 50 on that last play second and 13 bro it just feels good to upset the number one team right here we come up and make another hit but Pratt end up picking up two yards up. we leading this game seven to nothing clearing our zone but after the giving up them big plays last game we knew we had to play our zone man but the receiver pick up 18 in the first down and right here we lay a big hit to prevent the tight end for hauling in the pass and we up 14 to nothing third and 13 in the second half and right here we could just continue to lay big hit after big hit that boy is something serious and right here we just continue to make tackle after tackle as we are 14 to nothing second and seven right here and quarterback decided to take off running again we bro this dude is a fucking monster bro as the offense is finally putting up some decent points and right here we make another tackle bro we are all over the field right now the fourth quarter right here all them tackles you know we had to end the game with the interception as we end up beating the undefeated two lane 14 tackles one tackle for loss and one interception what a game to ball out the third game on our schedule is the men of tennessee state raiders they are sitting at two and four we are sitting at four and one as we tackle the running back and he picks up negative three yard reception on that play now we are riding high back-to-back -back wins another big hit on a running back back-to-back -back amazing plays and they doing screen after screen after screen and we just continue to make plays For the past two games we've been putting off huge upsets but coming into this game we definitely didn't want to be upset and right here we just didn't play our zone the receiver picks up 33 yards and right here once again i should have picked it off but indeed the receiver nice reception for nine yards they're running back trying to get to the outside but we prevent the first down sitting at third and one right here and the quarterback gets sacked that defense line is definitely waking up and this is a huge lead man we up 31 to three and we get a big hit on the quarterback as we end up winning that game 31 to three now the next week the next six game in our schedule louisiana take so the miss we got rice that's on the next video utm utsa and number 22 tosa will be game after that and then the next video after that will be the bowl game in the off season but as of right now before we face louisiana tech we are seventh in the nation with three interceptions we tie seventh in the nation i don't think we got no sex that's that's crazy but we are first in the ncaa with 40 tackles man but it's your boy sari like comment subscribe on the video man love y'all the life and i'm up out of here the tree i wanna salute every nigga who run with me and it's a secret everything that you done with me because it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty family